Enphase Energy tonight. A huge crash. Is it a huge crash? Is it expected? In this video, um, it's just happened. I've spent the last two hours doing some research on Enphase Energy, made some big buys, some big moves. Tell me if you agree, and uh, we're going to go into it right now. I've done uh, a couple of hours of uh, technical analysis on uh, Enphase Energy. I've got some information for you, why it's gone down, where I see it going, what I'm going to do about it, uh, and a full breakdown of the stocks. So uh, we're going to get into it right now. If it's your very first time, click subscribe to the channel and uh, I much appreciate it. And make sure you ring the bell. That way you'll be notified. And also uh, tap the Mr. Mini Me as well. A like always helps the channel. Right. Let's get straight into it. As you can see, we prepared the studio tonight for an Enphase special. So we're going to go straight into it. So Enphase Energy, it's one of my biggest plays, actually. Uh, I'm a fan of this. I use it myself. Uh, I have... Um, solar on my home in the UK. I'm off grid. It pays uh, for the electricity and uh, I am very much in favor of solar. I believe we need it now more than ever with the explosion of EVs. We're going to need it. We're not going to be able to uh, power everything uh, on the grid with what we currently have. So we are going to need uh, solar. In my opinion, solar is the way forward. I believe that end phase without a shadow of a doubt is the best in the industry, and I'm going to break it all down for you. During this video, I'm going to give you my price target, show you where it's going, and show you this huge drop and why we've had this huge drop. Let me share with you, in a moment, I will share with you my live position as well, exactly what I've uh, done about this. Okay, so... This is uh, Enphase uh, website. We're all familiar with this. Uh, why did I get in into Enphase in the first place? Well, because it's the industry leader. Uh, the way it uh, produces, the way it uh, uh, manages uh, its EV um, generation is second to none. I've done I've done my research of, of all the EV solar, sorry, all the solar generation companies, and because of the way optimizers uh, the the optimizer do their work, it's the most efficient way of uh, doing its job. So that's why I like it. But also I like it because it's the best use of cash, best use of in their investment. Their balance sheet is second to none. Um, their um, exposure to a global market is second to none. And let's go through it all right now. You've seen the website before. You're all familiar, I'm sure, if you are uh, an investor in Enphase. You know why you are in Enphase. You know why it's uh, the, the industry leader for solar. Uh, so you're familiar with that. So I'm not going to uh, spend any time looking at the website. You've all uh, experienced that, I'm sure. But anyway, let me give you a few facts. Uh, first of all, as I share with you my position, exactly what I've got here. Um, first of all, their cash flow is excellent. It's an industry leader, no question about it. Their cash management and their 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 overall cash balance is fantastic. Very little debt. If you go into the details of the debt, uh, very little debt when you look at what their, their revenue is. Uh, the market tonight has overreacted due to a uh, particular uh, um, downgrade. And I'll share with you what the downgrade is. This is the downgrade. Scotia downgrades, Scotia Bank downgrades Enphase Energy. And it's a huge, huge, huge um, overreaction. We've got the earnings uh, next week, which we are going to cover. I'll give you the link to that in a minute. But I actually think, unlike Solar Edge, that we could get a positive earnings. But this was what caused the problem. Scotia Bank downgrades Enphase Energy. And if you look at it, I'll just zoom in a bit more just so you can see it a bit clearer. Uh, Fintel reports that on October the 19th, this was after hours tonight, uh, Scotiabank downgraded their outlook to Enphase Energy from sector outperform to sector perform. Still performing, we were already about 20% undervalued. In my opinion, we are about 35, 40% now undervalued. Huge overreaction in the solar industry. The whole solar industry has been under attack recently. But if you look at it, um, as of October the 5th, the average one-year price target for NFED Energy uh, is uh, $196. we are now at $99. Um, 
So you can see, even with the downgrade tonight, uh, we are still we are still way ahead. When you look at it, we're not, we're ninety nine dollars and seventy five cents. Now I do expect some more uh, down pressure in the morning. It just often follows uh, news like this. But uh, I actually think that this is a huge overreaction. So what did I do? I'm going to share with you what I did in a second, because. Of this, uh, on uh, on top of the buybacks that uh, we've got, um, I just want to uh, bring a couple of extra points of part of my analysis that I've done as well. The return to investment on capital is great. Okay, if you look at their balance sheet, the return to their investments, their cash balance is fantastic. Buybacks are coming, more buybacks. So uh, there was the only issue, the only issue there has been with um, Enphase, if there's any at all, is the um, dilution. However, buybacks are coming. And at this price, I wouldn't be surprised if we wake up tomorrow morning and we're straight back up again. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but we're going to come on to this story, as I've just brought onto the screen now, uh, because there are new markets opening up for Enphase, unlike others like Solar Edge, all across Europe. Um, so I'm going to cover this right now. Enphase launches IQ EV charger line that integrates into into its solar and battery energy. Look at this. This all came at the same time as the downgrade. This is the kind of stock that has huge amount of volatility. It's not for the faint hearted. This has been up thousands of percent and it can go down thousands of percent. For me, this is a big boy pull your pants up type of stock. Expect a lot of volatility, but with volatility comes huge opportunity. For me, this is a massive, massive, massive overreaction. It came at the same moment that they announced the downgrade as, as they announced this at the same time. So we're going to cover a bit more of this in a second, but I'm going to share with you what I did on it. Well, Here's my position. Uh, I was in with about uh, 40 shares. That was all. But for me, that's quite a lot. Um, it's massively over uh, allocated in my portfolio. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It wasn't 40. Uh, what was it? It was about uh, 20. I beg your pardon. It was about 20 shares of uh, Enphase. But uh, after hours, I watched it. I waited for it and I bought it here at 98 uh, I've now got 59, so I more than doubled my position. It's now 9.3% of my portfolio. It's, it equates to $6,000, uh, which is a huge amount to me. I was down over 50% before the drop. Then it went down through the roof, uh, through the floor, and now I bought up at 98. Now I'm down just 24%. Now, there may be a further pullback in the morning. Quite honestly, I don't care. The balance sheet is too good. I've always said that Enphase, um, Enphase's balance sheet is probably one of the best balance sheets of any company on the market. So I'm very, very happy to buy. So I did. I don't really care if it goes down. Uh, I will just... Um, I mean, I don't know if I can afford to buy any more, quite honestly. I've gone ballistic, but um, I don't really care. It can't go anything up from up from here. Even if we do get a small um, a small decline in the morning, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the buybacks from here. It would make uh, every bit of sense. Anyway, let's go back to this story as I finish off the uh, other bits of news that came out at the same time as Scotiabank did their downgrade. They've got new markets opening up in Europe. Uh, electricity is going to be going up in price over the next two or three years. So solar is going to become more valuable. No question about that. Um, this, for me, is the most efficient uh, system. Uh, I've done all of the, uh, I've researched all of the um, solar companies, and this is the most efficient. Um, so essentially, it's a, it's a better mousetrap. Why have we got downplay anyway? Well, the main reason uh, isn't the downgrade is the fact that uh, interest rates are so high at the moment. So because of interest rates, this is an expensive product to put on your roof. So thereby, uh, you know, that's posing some difficulties. However, listening to J uh, Jerome Powell speak today, uh, if you listen between the lines, I am pretty confident that by the spring, we're going to see our first rate reductions. 
And then, of course, industries like solar and Tesla, are gonna, they're, they're, they're kind of linked, are going to absolutely explode. So to be able to buy this tonight down here at $98, in my opinion, was a gift. Um, the growth can outweigh these obstacles. So even though our interest rates are high, I think the growth can outweigh these obstacles. Um, some big investors as well in this stock. We've got Ray uh, Dalio and Jeremy Grantham, very, very important investors. Um, as I said before, this is a super volatile stock, just the same way as when Apple first came out and Amazon in the past, exactly the same uh, volatility. Um, we need good long runways and uh, this company has it, uh, and a small company in comparison to the scale of the market, but it's the world leader. So I think this is absolutely the way to go. Um, let's just go back to this story that broke at the same time as we had the uh, the downgrade. So I think it's uh, very, uh, very... Um, suspect the fact that these two great, two dramatic stories came out at the same time. Anyway, uh, Enphase Energy, um, developer Enphase Energy is providing an, an even more holistic approach to the managing home power usage with the introduction of the new EV charger technology called IQ Line. The Enphase IQ is Wi-Fi enabled and integrates seamlessly into a customer's existing home system that can be controlled with your phone. Enphase Energy describes its itself as the world's leading supplier of solar and battery systems and currently operates as a global energy technology company. It specializes in microinverter based systems that have helped revolutionize energy management systems in over 145 countries to date. So, what do you think? I'd love your thoughts. We are making this video during a live uh, show. I don't know if anybody is with me. No one normally... <clears throat> expects me to go live at this time in the evening. I don't know if anybody's with me. It's very quiet. We do have a couple of people. Uh, Bill, MSK, Seth, good evening to all of you. Um, uh, Seth said, gave me a good excuse to stop doing the dishes. Anyway, uh, very, I'm very pleased for that. So I hope uh, you'll join me in the morning. I have prepared and I will be covering the earnings. So click above my head for the earnings. I also have a poll running on, on X as well. You might like to uh, take a look at that. I'll share with you uh, on the screen my X position. Uh, and you might uh, be interested to... Um, vote on this poll. Here we go. Let me share it with you. This is a poll running on X right now. By my calculation, at least 30% undervalued. Do you see it as a buy right now? Uh, it looks like 54% say yes, it's a buy. 22% uh, don't uh, know. Only 22% say no, it's not a buy. So that in my, in my book, that's 35 votes, not bad at all. Uh, go and vote on that and leave me me your comments as well, and please repost it uh, to share your thoughts. Okay. So anyway, I will leave you with that link. Go to X, and you'll uh, you'll find it there. Click above my head also, and below in the description, and pinned to the first comment of this video when it comes out. This is made during a live live broadcast. You will actually see the link to X there as well. Go and vote on that. Also, the link to the earnings. And over here, I'll post the video of the earnings so you can join us live for that uh, event. I think it's going to be a very, very interesting event. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we pop in the morning. It might go down a further 5%, 10% and then straight back up again if we get those buybacks. It could happen at any point. Anyway, as always, I thought I'd bring you this breaking news. I think it's a big one. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye for now.